Hey everybody, welcome back to another part of Megatron's Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent with me, Megatron! Yay! Okay, so we just found all the pieces of the ore, put them together, and then they were conveniently disappeared. Uh, well, I'm not going back that way. Oh, uh, levers. Spot on the floor. Oh, fuck, this is something I'm supposed to be running from, isn't it? Nope. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Open. I'm through here. What's in here? Oh, what? What? What's up there? A note. August 1839. It's not fair, Callie. No. Hmm. Probably something that I needed to know. Oh. Fuck. Alright then. Um. What did that... Did that save me? Ugh. God, I've got to do it again? This is gonna kill me! Ugh, damn it. Mm okay. Why not? Some sort of door trade off? Is there no other levers? What do I do? I gotta go stand in the other one. Yay! Did something. Oh, shit. Damn it, Daniel. Don't die. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Get up. Keep going. <laughs> You're almost there. Jesus. Oh, I need health badly. I'm not doing too good here. Oh, the orb chamber. Neat. Maybe that's where my orb went. It'd be so awesome, wouldn't it? I could just find my orb. Maybe my orb can give me health. Oh. What? Okay then. I was wondering if you were going to show up. Ooh. I see a gripper convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? You're naked, that's what you are. I definitely see a lot more evil in me than I do good. What? Ow. Damn it. Oh. I screwed up your pylon. You gonna do start hitting me with rocks? Yeah. So close, I beg you. you can beg all you want, bitch. Maybe I'm fine. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstances. Trapped in a world I no longer recognize. As you gain your freedom. 
Bitch, die! Die, you son of a bitch! Yeah, I don't think you died, did you? You probably got absorbed somewhere into the fucking building. Uh, no. It was my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. I did. <laughs> I looked back. You think I was afraid fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. Oh wait, is this all places I've been? I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. <laughs> Blixes. Oh no. There's no denying the things I've done, oh. but I oh. have paid my tribute. Is this? I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing. Mm, going into the light. <gasps> that was the end. Oh, if I'd known I was that close to the end in the last episode, I would have made it go a little longer. Oh. Well. That is... I really don't want to cut off the credits because they, um... You know, the people definitely deserve recognition for this game. So I guess, you know, pay attention to them as they're scrolling by slowly as I just... Um, ramble on, but, uh, God, this game, this, I have not played many games that had me feeling that involved, that had me feeling that emotionally tied to the game, I mean, even when I was, you know, going through the torture chambers, I mean, of course I was like, oh my God, you know, the torture and shit going on, and at the same time, you know, it's like, you know, I was angry at Daniel for doing it, but I was also, you know, like, scared and alone. This, this game, <laughs> really, this is unlike anything that I've played before. Um, it, it was really incredible, that, that's all I can say. Definitely amazing. And if you've been watching bits and pieces of this uh, Let's Play, or you've, you know, been... You had, if you don't own the game and you're on the verge of, you know, buying it, I suggest you do. Um, even if you've seen someone play it, I think that this is something that, as you go through it, just the experiences, because the monsters aren't, you know, the, the overall general area might be the same, but they still, um, it's pretty random, I guess, as far as when you could run into one and um, different things like that. The end. Okay. Is it going to take us back to the uh, main menu? Or, okay, well if it just wants to sit there that's fine too. Because the music stopped. Um, definitely an amazing atmosphere in that game. The creep level is off the charts, but it is amazing. I, I've never felt so alone in a game before. Um, even though I was ridiculous and, and silly and, and made a lot of dumb jokes and stuff while I was playing through it, that's just my way of handling things I don't understand, you know, I can be in extreme pain, um, actually just a month and a half, two months ago to about now, I had to have emergency gallbladder surgery, and, um, you know, that the day I come out of surgery, I'm still looped up from the drugs and I'm cracking jokes left and right, and that's just something that I've done. When I broke my arm when I was little, I cracked jokes while I was on the way to the emergency room and my arm was in a U-shape because that's just how I, I deal with stuff and I guess if you can laugh it didn't seem as scary um, but the game itself is still actually terrifying as hell but I could not recommend it more um, I know there are custom stories for this uh, I, I can't wait to dive into some I'm not sure 
if anyone would want to watch me do a let's play or, the, you know, or maybe I could just do some custom stories and cut them down to be, you know, an episode long each for the custom stories. And I also know there is the um, Amnesia the Machine for Pigs, which I do plan on doing a let's play of eventually. Uh, but, God, I don't know. That, I can't believe that's the end already. I was actually hoping for a little bit more uh, involved of a, uh, n not really a boss fight, but a little bit more involved in the ending other than just pushing over three pylons and uh, then slowly, dazedly walking through areas I had somewhat been through before, but it was still amazing. Um, well, alright then. So I'm guessing this is going to be a shorter episode. Uh, I can't praise the game enough. Definitely worth playing through on your own and experiencing for yourself. I'm not sure if this is something that has a um, Oculus port or anything for. If it doesn't, I hope it does because I'd love, I would love to play this on the Oculus because I, I imagine, you know, as immersive as it felt now, I can't imagine how crazy it would feel then when you felt like you're actually <laughs> in the water running from shit and you look everywhere around and it's just, you know, you're in the dungeons or you're in the morgue and you look behind you and there's actually a monster there. <laughs> It'd be crazy and creepy. So, ah. Uh, still never found out what the rose petals were about, but that's okay. And uh, um, I guess I'm just going to leave with that Agrippa's head in my pocket. But uh, I don't know. Maybe there's some answers in the next game, in The Machine for Pigs. I really don't know anything about it. Um, I try not to learn too much about games that I think I might do a Let's Play on just for the sake of not, you know. Maybe it's more interesting if I dive into it completely blind. So I have been looking for a few other survival horror games and stuff kind of similar, especially the like, you know, little indie games, looking for things that maybe not every other gaming YouTuber has done. So I have a small list going, and I am going to start doing some of those this weekend. Um, currently it is Friday, um, so Sunday. Sunday I will be able to start diving into some new content like that, um, but by the time this is uploaded it'll probably be way past that so yeah 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 just um I'm umming a lot um yeah yeah just at a loss for words at the moment um again incredible game I'm just rambling because I, I just can't get over it <laughs> it's kind of that that feeling you know you're like oh I can't play I, I finished it I'm so happy I finished it in the sad same time you're sad because it's like when you finish a good book you just you know anyway thank you so much for everyone who is you know tuned in and out or, or seen every episode of me somehow managing to fumble my way through this game um, thank you for everyone who subscribed you know I, I at this point I think maybe now I've got nine subscribers and I, I can't appreciate all of you enough um, every subscriber I have every person who watches my videos in the future I appreciate it so much because I have so much fun doing this and you know it's not about anything other than just maybe some people out there get a little bit of enjoyment out of me being a complete idiot and thanks for for watching and I can't wait to do the next series so just stand by and I'll have another video for you coming soon filled with stupidity and lots of bad puns anyway that's all for the Amnesia the Dark Descent Let's Play by me Maggie Tron and I'll see you in the next video I'll see you next time I'll talk to you I'll tweet you anyway Toodles!